hear the rush of angel wings, I see glory on each face. Surely the presence of the Lord is in this place. Surely the Spirit of the Lord is here in love, and it brings God's peace as quiet as a dove. I can see the glow of angels' wings shining brightly from above. Surely the Spirit of the Lord is here in love. Surely the blessing of the Lord is in my heart, and it's here when we're together or apart. Now I feel the rush of angels' wings, and I know how great thou art. Surely the blessing of the Lord is in my heart. Jesus is the light of the world, a light no darkness can extinguish. He became obedient unto death. Come, let us worship. Let us pray. Jesus, I have forgotten the words that you have spoken. Promises that burned within my heart have now grown dim. With a doubting heart, I follow the paths of earthly wisdom. Give me for my unbelief, renew the fire again. Lord, have mercy, Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy on me. Lord, have mercy, Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. 
almighty and merciful Lord, grant unto you pardon and remission of all your sins, time for amendment of life, and the grace and the comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In our next piece, we catch something of God's outrage at his people being held in bondage, bound by the political tyranny of Egypt and bound by sin that separates him from his people. We have a God of life, and there is no life without freedom. The cost of our freedom will cost God everything. When Israel was in Egypt's land, let my people go. Oppressed so hard they could not stand, let my people go. Go down, Moses, way down in Egypt's land, tell old Pharaoh, let my people go. We need not always weep and mourn, let my people go. And wear these slavery chains forlorn, let my people go. Go down, Moses, way down in Egypt's land, tell old Pharaoh, let my people go. Oh, let us all from bondage flee, let my people go. And let us all in Christ be free, let my people go. Go down, Moses, way down in Egypt land, tell old Pharaoh, let my people go. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Let us now prayerfully listen to the story. Psalm 122, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Why are you so far from my thoughts? To feel the abandonment of God is to feel the utter aloneness of oneself, the annihilation of one's very personhood. The cross cuts through this, establishing meaning and, and purpose where we see and experience none. On the cross, God takes our human darkness and turns it to his will, drawing the circle wider than human perception could perceive. God's life operative and active in Jesus on the cross bring sin and death and all its negations to its knees. The resurrection is the evidence of victory, hope confirmed. Hence, it is called Good Friday. A reading from the Gospel of John, chapter 18. After he had said this, he went out to the Jews again and told them, I find no case against this man. But you have a custom that I release someone for you at the Passover. Do you want me to release the king of the Jews? They shouted in reply, not this man, but Barabbas. Now Barabbas was a bandit. Then Pilate took Jesus and had him flogged. And the soldiers wove a crown of thorns and put it on his head. And they dressed him in a purple robe. They kept coming up to him saying, hail king of the Jews and slapping him on the face. Pilate went out again and said to them, Look, I am bringing him out to you to let you know that I find no case against him. So Jesus came out, wearing the crown of thorns and the purple robe. Pilate said to him, Here is the man. When the chief priests and the police saw him, they shouted, Crucify him! Crucify him! Pilate said to them, Take him yourselves and crucify him. I find no case against him. The Jews answered him, We have a law, and according to that law, he ought to die, because he is claimed to be the Son of God. Now, when Pilate heard this, he was more afraid than ever. He entered his headquarters again and asked Jesus, 
Where are you from? But Jesus gave him no answer. Pilate therefore said to him, Do you refuse to speak to me? Do you not know that I have the power to release you and the power to crucify you? Jesus answered him, You would have no power over me unless it had been given to you from above. Therefore, the one who handed me over to you is guilty of a greater sin. From then on, Pilate tried to release him, but the Jews cried out, If you release this man, you are no friend of the emperor. Everyone who claims to be a king sets himself against the emperor. When Pilate heard these words, he brought Jesus outside and sat on the judge's bench at a place called the Stone Pavement, or in Hebrew, Gabbatha. Now, it was the day of preparation for Passover, and it was about noon. He said to the Jews, Here is your king. They cried out, Away with him! Away with him! Crucify him! Pilate asked them, Shall I crucify your king? The chief priests answered, We have no king but the emperor. Then he handed him over to them to be crucified. Were you there when they crucified my Lord? Were you there when they crucified my Lord? Were you there when they crucified my Lord? Oh, sometimes it causes me to tremble, tremble. Were you there when they crucified my Lord? So the soldiers took charge of Jesus. Carrying his own cross, he went out to the place of the skull, which in Aramaic is called Golgotha. There they crucified him, and with him two others, one on each side, and Jesus in the middle. Pilate had a notice prepared and fastened to the cross. It read, Jesus of Nazareth, the King of the Jews. Many of the Jews read this sign, for the place where Jesus was crucified was near the city, and the sign was written in Aramaic, Latin, and Greek. The chief priests of the Jews protested to Pilate, Do not write the King of the Jews, but that this man claimed to be King of the Jews. Pilate answered, What I have written, I have written. When the soldiers crucified Jesus, they took his clothes, dividing them into four shares, one for each of them, with the undergarment remaining. This garment was seamless, woven in one piece from top to bottom. Let's not tear it, they said to one another. Let's decide by lot who will get it. This happened that the scripture might be fulfilled, that said, they divided my clothes among them and cast lots for my garment. So this is what the soldiers did. Near the cross of Jesus stood his mother, his mother's sister, Mary the wife of Clopas, and Mary Magdalene. When Jesus saw his mother there, and the disciple whom he loved, standing nearby, he said to her, Woman, here is your son, and to the disciple, here is your mother. From that time on, the disciple took her into his home. Later, knowing that everything had now been finished, and so the scripture would be fulfilled, Jesus said, I am thirsty. A jar of wine vinegar was there, so they soaked a sponge in it, put the sponge on a stalk of a hesop plant, and lifted it to Jesus' lips. When he had received the drink, Jesus said, It is finished. And with that, he bowed his head and gave up his spirit. Were you there? Were you there when they nailed him to a tree? Were you there when they nailed him to a tree? Oh, sometimes it causes me to tremble, tremble, tremble. Were you there 
when they nail him to a tree. Since it was the day of preparation, the Jews did not want the bodies left on the cross during the Sabbath, especially because that Sabbath was a day of great solemnity. So they asked Pilate to have the legs of the crucified men broken and the bodies removed. Then the soldiers came and broke the legs of the first and of the other who had been crucified with him. But when they came to Jesus and saw that he was already dead, they did not break his legs. Instead, one of the soldiers pierced his side with a spear, and at once blood and water came out. He who saw this has testified so that you also may believe. His testimony is true, and he knows that he tells the truth. These things occurred so that the scripture might be fulfilled. None of his bones shall be broken. And again, another passage of scripture says, They will look on the one whom they have pierced. Were you there when they crucified my Lord? Were you there when they crucified my Lord? Were you there when they crucified my Lord? Oh, 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 sometimes it causes me to tremble, tremble, tremble. Were you there when they crucified my Lord? My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? hands, Father, we commend our spirits. We commend all of our worries and all of our concerns. Amen. Peace of God, which passes all understanding. Keep your hearts and your minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be amongst you and remain with you always. Amen. Amen.